So Paul McCartney and Heather Mills will meet today to begin what could be the most costly divorce battle in British legal history. The judge will hear what Sir Paul has to offer and in return what Heather Mills is willing to accept. Divorce lawyers believe there will be a settlement which could reach £70 million. Pounds. Well, we'll stay with this story. A lot of uh, uh, interest in it, of course. Joining us now from outside the High Court is divorce lawyer Aisha Vardag. Thanks indeed for joining us on this. And I suppose it gets lawyers absolutely salivating the prospect of uh, this sort of money being uh, thrown around in a courtroom. But this may not be the final hearing today unless they de decide on a settlement basis. What's happening now is the FDR, which is completely standard for money claims on divorce. It's like act two of a three-act drama that is a money claim on divorce. Uh, what happens is that by about halfway, both parties have got uh, their financial disclosure. They go along with their lawyers before a judge and um, they try to strike a deal. The judge gets involved, gives his opinions, goes away, tries to bash their heads together and tries to sort something out. If they sort something out, they save each other hundreds of thousands of pounds and uh, perhaps another year of battling, publicity, stress. Um, if they don't, then that judge is off the case. Nothing that was discussed today goes public and they go forward to a final hearing. The sort of sums that are being bandied about in the press, I show, would you say that they are perfectly within the realms of possibility in terms of a settlement? I think that uh, some of the sums are erring on the side of generous. <laughs> what, uh, what people are talking about is, well, the rumour is a more moderate upfront lump sum. People are saying maybe about 15 million, plus a big annual payment um, for as long as Beatrice, their daughter, is, uh, is still a child. So it ends up with a big number, but it's spread out over some time. But we don't know. That's just the rumour. No, indeed, and we'll, we'll stress that because until the details are, are finalised, none of us would know, I suppose. No. But in terms of how you might assess a, a marriage and a settlement uh, that has to be concluded out of it, this is a relatively short marriage, isn't it? Uh, there, there wouldn't be a great deal of sense that this is a woman who would uh, had supported him in, a, in the early stages of a career, for example, and helped him uh, make his career become established. Exactly. If this had been a long marriage, if she'd been there all the way through, then we'd be looking at something like a 50-50 split and, you know, hundreds of millions. But uh, this is a short marriage. We're looking at a needs claim. So Heather Mills's needs will be very generously interpreted because of the lifestyle she's been used to and the sort of home that she needs to give their daughter. But it's still a needs claim, which means it's going to be a relatively small proportion of the overall pot. And the issue of a child uh, sadly being caught up in a situation like this is one which is, I suppose, in the very least, a welcome focus in one of these battles in the courts. It's inevitable. It happens all the time now. Um, the right thing to do is for everybody to stay civilised and really to strike a deal as soon as possible so that they can all move on with their lives and getting on with uh, parenting their child together in a, in a friendly way. But in terms of a celeb deal to end all celeb deals, I suppose there'll be many in the media eye that will be looking at this with great interest. Oh, that's right. There have been a lot of very, very big money cases lately. There's a lot of money going around, especially in London. And uh, we've had a very big claim recently, um, very highly publicised in the courts, in the Sharman case. So people have become very conscious that the way the law is now, an awful lot of money is changing hands. It's uh, to, the, to the point that it's economically quite significant. And economically quite significant to strike a deal rather than endlessly pay the lawyers, I suppose. Absolutely right, yeah. <laughs> OK, Aisha Vardag, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you.